Where are we going, bro? To fight. We're on the park or the beach? Can you bring some slippers? Yeah, I got everything. Oh, you did got it. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're almost there, bro. Yeah. And we're here. Let's go, Let's go, guys. Let's go. This spot's intense. Yeah, I know. Let's see? Oh, wow. Wait, it's <laughs> me focus. And that's just for like looking yeah. on the surface. It's like literally like like everywhere. I know, it's like quality, quality stuff too. Look at that. Oh, there's black glass there too. Crazy. It's like some fish bubbling out there. Like literally everywhere. What? Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! Look at them all. Oh, the little guys. Look at all the fish you see. Look. Yeah, I touch one. Makes me think that we should probably be in there. Oh, they're probably uh, they're probably bigger fish going on these. Ah. It's only water, say. Look at that. Woo. It's kind of funny. There's more sea glass here than I have in my entire collection. Quality over quantity. I could say that, but honestly, these pieces are quality. Look at that stuff. Bermuda's laws don't allow us to grab any though and bring it home. I said that before, but bit of a bummer. Still really cool. Look at it all. Oh man, look at, look at those. <laughs> My daughter's over here collecting fish. These poor little fishies. Poor little fishies. Let's put them back in the water, baby. No. Yeah. No! Okay, fine. I was hoping to do a little more free diving than I did on this trip, but my friends on the island were working Monday to Friday, a few were traveling, and a few felt under the weather. So a lot of my time was spent snorkeling for bottles. We also snorkeled around a fair amount for sea glass. It might not be very exciting on camera, but I think it's one of my new favorite pastimes. I wish we had beaches like this on Vancouver Island. It's kind of ironic. Spearfishing is prohibited one nautical mile from any shoreline in Bermuda, but angling is fair game. They want to keep the shoreline pristine for tourists who go out snorkeling. I saw fishing line everywhere I went. I'm not sure what happened to this parrotfish, but I suspect it was a foul hook. Parrotfish are protected in Bermuda. I hope this one survived. On a positive note, I found this 100, 150 year old stoneware medicine bottle. Sea glass is protected, but I couldn't find any rules on taking fully intact bottles unless they're discovered on a shipwreck. I stumbled upon a magic carpet. I'm just kidding, but the kids have been watching Aladdin, so it's been on my mind. Kind of looks like one though. What a beautiful creature. The added bonus of bottle diving in the ocean is all the marine life you get to encounter. On one side you have a national treasure vibe, and on the other, National Geographic. Hurricanes and tropical storms are constantly pounding the shores of Bermuda. Thankfully, this process on buries stuff that's been out of sight for centuries, like this stoneware ginger beer bottle. These are my finds. I thought this was a black glass blob top bottle, but I think it's a ceramic one of the stoneware bottles, just covered in a bunch of algae and coral. I might clean up or I might even just leave it the way it is. And then this guy over here, is uh, for sure a stoneware, probably an ink bottle, I'm guessing. Uh, this one's coming home with me to British Columbia. It's got beauty. I might snorkel around here. Kids are tired. Are you tired, Zai? You tired, buddy? Yeah, I think he's tired. So I might just snorkel around here and uh, use Jasmine's watch and then get picked up later. It's too nice for me to go to hang out house. Look around for more treasure. I think saying it's calm out is a bit of a stretch, but behind me, the water is looking pretty tempting. The sun's out, we got that nice teal aqua blue, and I'm looking for some good visibility. So I'm gonna jump in. It's not too bad when you're out there, but being solo isn't the uh, funnest, funnest part, but better than hanging out here and drilling over the beautiful ocean. So I'm gonna gear up, uh, wearing a wetsuit, not for warmth, more for buoyancy and also to protect me from any sharp objects, which would include lionfish, because there's lionfish out there, and red coral and other stuff that can sting me. But I'm gonna migrate down, jump in, kind of deal with the surge at the shore. But once I'm out there, looking for some awesome, awesome diving. It doesn't look that bad on camera, and to be fair, it wasn't horrible, but the entry had to be timed and done carefully. The diving was pretty decent, but I have much better stuff coming down the pipes. 
I stuck around the shallows on this one and took it easy. I love the swim throughs here. They're virtually never ending. And the fact I didn't have a straight jacket on, I mean a 7mm suit, meant I could get full lung expansion and nice long bottom times. The water was warm though. The 3.5mm I was wearing was definitely overkill. I like the warm water, but I also like the refreshing feeling you get when you jump into the cold ocean. I found some conch shells, which I don't recall seeing here in the past. Damn, they're big and beautiful. You guys ready? Adventure time. Later on that evening, I hung out with the kids at the pool and took them down to the beach. They absolutely love it here in Bermuda. For the most part, it's non-stop smiles from the two of them. Good times. Well, it's the next morning here and gonna be taking off shortly. Lakiba, she volunteers at a thrift shop and she's gonna drop me off at the beach while she's off working. Probably gonna be in the water for two and a half, maybe even three hours. We're gonna go to Elbow Beach and gonna dive a shipwreck off the shore. If I make it out that far, we'll see. My primary focus is gonna be looking for bottles. I found some there last time I dove this spot, probably two years ago. None had any uh, embossing, but they were applied top bottles. Actually, for that matter, I think I got a couple right here in front of me. Uh, they just put them around the property for decor. We're going to be hitting the road here very, very shortly. This is going to be my only chat. I'm bringing my GoPro, but I don't want to leave a bag unattended on the shore. A uh, good opportunity for it to go missing and walk away. Uh, the kids are going to go to the aquarium uh, with her nana, with her grandmother, great grandmother, with her great grandmother. And Jasmine. It's hard to describe how beautiful Elbow Beach is with words, and I know the camera does a lousy job. I suppose the same thing holds true for a lot of places I visit, but the pink sand and turquoise waters hits you in the soul. I got off to a slow start. I found a few bottles with age, but they were broken, and everything else was fairly modern. When you find a good one, the adrenaline spikes and the endorphins are released. It's a hard feeling to describe, but I'm hooked, and it keeps me coming back. I found a kid's mask. I thought the kids could use it, but it was broken. At least it's out of the ocean. And there you have it, just what I was searching for. Something intact and with age. I've been getting different answers, but some resources say it's a perfume bottle, and others say it's olive oil. Both, however, date the bottle to the 1800s. It's pretty unique. Speaking of unique, this trunkfish was like no others I've seen on the island. Its coloring and patterns blew me away. It's a strange looking fish. I love how diverse the ocean is. The find of the day. Diving at Elbow Beach was a bit of a disappointment. I didn't find any bottles. I was just in the pool though with the kids for a solid hour or so. Jasmine uh, convinced me to go diving with her out of the breakwater. <laughs> Isn't that how it went? No. <laughs> but you're excited, aren't you? I don't know. We'll see. You know you are. The water's looking so nice out there. We're going to go dive out off Pokeyoke. Been out in that spot a bunch. Not with Jasmine though, my first time with her. Um, let's be real, I convinced her to come up with me. Gareth's going to watch the kids. Thanks, Gareth. He's in the pool with them. Honestly, they're pushing an hour and a half in the pool. They're going nuts. Sailor's doing really good. She's like diving down the deep end. Uh, you have to get some footage of that too. For those that don't remember, Jasmine developed gestational diabetes while pregnant with her son, Zaya. That led to complications. She went into diabetic ketoacidosis and we could have lost both her and my son. Thank God for modern medicine as they probably wouldn't be here today without it. Fast forward two years, Jasmine was diagnosed with diabetes in August and has taken our family for a little ride. It's been pretty stressful for all of us, but my wife's been killing it and she's been working extremely hard to get her health back on track. There's no real positives to having a lifelong illness, but we're both living a much healthier lifestyle and feeling better with each day that passes. My wife deserves so much more credit than I give her. She's the best wife and mother to my child I could ask for. Love you, Jazz. The visibility was a lot better than the day prior, and I took advantage of having a dive buddy with me in the water. I opted to dive without a suit as it was hot in the three and a half mil. I didn't dive super deep, but I had fun.
Parrotfish are plentiful on the reef and they come in many sizes, shapes and colors. There was a decent amount of them in the shallows. These guys are called Bermuda Chub. They seem to pop out of nowhere and follow you around for a bit and then peace out. Believe it or not, they're some of my favorite fish on the reef. I'm sure local Bermudians think I'm out to lunch, but I love them. I suppose the fish we're used to in the Pacific Northwest would catch Bermudians by surprise too. Oh yeah, the holy grail of sea glass collecting, the cod bottle marble. Pokey Oak Beach is private, so this one was fair game and came home with us. It's one of my favorites in our collection. <laughs> That's a good find. That's a good one. Awesome. I know. Sorry about it. Yeah, that's awesome. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Two more Bermuda videos to follow. Peace, everyone.